Oh, that is stunning. I love the flavour. I love the flavour of the beef. Really, that's like what you want pizza to always taste like. Right, we are about 20 minutes outside of the old town, which is quite expensive. So we're going to a local little restaurant for a steak dinner, or meat dinner really, which is just up the road. It's half the price, if not a quarter, and it's only three minutes from where we're staying. You're watching the KT Travel Show. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Lovely. Right. So this is our little neighbourhood. You look very beautiful, baby. Absolutely stunning, as usual. Love your hair. I am so Yeah. Oh well. Whatever works. Kelly's made up. She's opposite a bag shop. Right over the road. She and uh, the bad news is it's closed tomorrow because it's Sunday. Oh look, the five comes right up here, Kelly. Where? Pepe, yeah. Yes, it would. Shall we find out? Oh. So, you're not taking it, Cal? No. Not for you. Not quite right. A bit plasticky, yeah. So, that's a nice little place for street food and drinks. There was a couple of little bars up here when we walked up here. and a um, Chinese, if I remember rightly. It's just, you can get your stuff in there, you can get your rail sausage dad scarves in there. We could have done, we're getting a couple of them today. We're new fans of the club. Oh. Nice little drinks bar there. And we do you even recognise where we were going to go? Luckily we, we managed to book a table. But yeah, we're eating here tonight. Right. We're here, next to the toilets, next to the kitchen. It's tiny, there's only Seven tables, eight tables possibly. It's time. But we've been told this is excellent steak. As good as you'll get anywhere for half the price. So you know us on the KT Travel Show. We're tight fisted. <laughs> right, okay, we've got sat straight away. So on the uh, Triku Harry menu, you can go for the pinchos if you fancy pinchos. Uh, portions to share. Saying that though, I will go for the um, spicy tomato sauce on the potato bravas. Really fancy that. Salads. Oh, there, tuna belly. Ooh. Your meat dishes. Well, I'm going to go for the grilled fillet steak with fries and peppers. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. Um, uh, cheers, Kelly. Well, we just ordered the steak, the pork, um, a couple of pinchos to start with, and um, that's all right. Right, we've got a ham croquet. Type of style, so you're not overeating by all of this and sharing between you. That, it, that looks super hot. See if you like that. So it's usually filled with um, like a potato and gammon filling. Kelly's having a bit of a mare there. Oh Is it okay? Is it nice? Right, I'm going to try a bit of this as well. Let's give that a go. 
Just saying, how the hell have they made this? I don't know. It's like, it is just cheese sauce and ham. But the um, outside breadcrumbs are lovely. That is nice. Dead simple. But it's not. It's com it's, that's hard. Gammon, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's like a gammon. So. Now this, this is a personal favourite of cows. Is it? What is this now? Beef cheek. Beef cheek. In a in, in just like a gravy, by the way. Is it soft? Really good. Well, I'm going to try a bit of that as well. Oh, that is stunning. I love the flavour. I love the flavour of the beef. Really, that's like what you want pizza always tastes like. Oh, that melts on the tongue, doesn't it? That is wonderful. Oh. So that's two out of two. Yeah, this, the sauce. Really, it's like, it's like beef. Beef on beef, isn't it? You saved me that last little piece. So the wine, that was just so scrummy. So that was beef cheeks. Uh, it, there was a mushroom in the uh, in the sauce. But, uh, and there's a little, a little bit of fat with it as well. Oh my god. That is just getting heaven. busier and busier. People come and going. People are having a pinch off, glass of wine, a little cider maybe, a little bit of on the merry way to the next bar. This is a place that I think come out here, even if you're going into um, the new town or the old town, start your night off here, have one or two, then make your way in there, have your expensive ones, come back here. For there the you go, that comes my steak. Got the famous grilled uh, peppers here. Only one in ten, it will blow your head off. So there's bound to be one in there that'll do the damage. Uh, sea salt sprinkled over the top of the steak. So let's give this a go. So that's my medium rare steak. And it is medium rare, it's incredible flavour on it. So you haven't liked the steak for a while, have you? Well, that is delicious. That is delicious, yeah. Steak is beautiful, as Kelly just said. Um, it's more rare than it is medium rare, I'll be honest with you. But it's super soft, isn't it? There is a, a gristle and the fat running through it, which is um, a little bit chewy. But as flavour of meat, that is as outstanding. Mm -hmm. Even Kelly's eating it rare. Perfectly cooked that for medium rare. We are done. Steak absolutely delicious. Best I've ever had? Possibly not. But the flavour was unbelievable good. And if you're coming here, if you don't like it rare, then go then go well done. You know, I think you'll get it like me, you get it medium rare. Right, I'm being a brave guy. I've gone and ordered a vermouth. Uh, first one I've ever had, but it's a, a big thing over here. They seem to drink your first thing in the morning. It's got an olive. If you have a look in there, there's a, it's actually a green olive. And that wouldn't be for everyone, but it's very nice. He's got weird taste buds, so... <laughs> so you're not going to try that then, Cal? Go on, give it a go. Be a brave girl, see if you like it. It's got a look. Like Martin. Like dessert fans, we are going for 
We are, we are in San Sebastian, so it has to be the San Sebastian cheesecake. Right. We have uh, That's the main difference. It's weird. It's weird. Not like a cheesecake you've ever had before, Cal. No, and that's all nuts. Do you like it or not? It's just weird. You can't get your head round it, can you? No. The taste it is been baked. Should have got that one, one between us. Really good, isn't it? I, I absolutely. And I'm not a cheesecake fan. It's not as nice as that rhubarb one. Oh, I don't know. The filling itself is phenomenal. And this tiny little bit of biscuit. Maybe that's what I don't like. I don't like the biscuit, but the filling. You like your biscuit, yeah, so that's the difference. Everyone's slightly different, so I love it, absolutely love it. So, cheers, everyone. Thanks for following us. So, let's have a look at the old Jack and Jill. And uh, 54.30. So, basically, £43 gets us. Fabulous dinner, loads of wine, loads of drink, starters, pinchos. What do you think that value? There you go, here you go now. Right. She's a lovely waitress there. Beautiful uh, Vaseline as well. There's only 10 tables. And you have to, uh, we, we were so lucky. We got the last table, uh, only because we called in um, before we went off to the match. And it was the right, we've just done the right decisions all day, haven't we? we, we Absolutely great staff. Absolutely brilliant. Doesn't look anything, but it's really, really, really good. 